three, two, one. Hi everyone, it's Primrose Fairy here again. Welcome back to my channel and hope you're all having a splendid week as always. Now, as you can see, I'm with my latest um, creation. <laughs> this ghost is called Jeffrey. He's a very splendid ghost and um, he looks spooky, but he's very friendly. So don't be alarmed by the spooky appearance. Um, he is very lovely. Going to start off, as always, I have a cup of tea. Um, this is the only black mug I own. <laughs> and um, it's Minnie Mouse. <laughs> Close enough. Got myself um, Earl Grey green tea. And I've also got, um, you know, some little biscuits. <laughs> Lovely. Nice pairing with the tea, actually. Now, I've actually got a different filter. I've got my ring light behind and I didn't even know it does like a warm filter um, but it makes me look a bit ghostly um, which is very fitting for this week's craft. <laughs> um, I have indeed made some ghosts out of cheesecloth, muslin if you like. They are so easy to make it's unreal so um, and they look really effective as well so yeah Without further ado, if you'd like to see how these are made, um, I shall link in everything you need in the description box. And let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is just pr to protect the area that you're working in. So I've just got a big piece of card here because we're gonna be working with PVA glue and it's gonna get a little bit messy. So the main thing you need for this craft is some kind of bottle um, and a ping pong ball. <laughs> so, Basically, this is going to be like the base of the body um, and then the ping pong ball is the head. This is purely just to get the shape. So you can also use um, like a jam jar um, or a bigger bottle, depending on how big you want the ghost. Um, I've also seen some videos where they use like a jam jar and then they blow up a balloon and use that as the head. So it's up to you and just use what you have really. The next thing you need to do is grab yourself a pipe cleaner um, and these are going to act as like the arms of the ghost. <laughs> um, and what you want to do is just bend it around the bottle. Just off camera, I'm just gonna glue this into place so I won't be a second. Okay, so that's the pipe cleaner just glued on the back there. And the next thing you want to do is grab your cheesecloth or um, muslin. So I got mine from um, Wilco's, um, and you get a you get one sheet. It's quite a big sheet for two pound fifty, I think. So it's not too bad. Yeah, so it is quite a large sheet. So I'm just going to cut mine down just a smidge, so that it's not too big for the ghosty. Right, now this is where it gets a little bit messy. <laughs> so you wanna grab yourself uh, just a bowl um, and put your just normal PVA glue. And you wanna put a little bit of water in there as well. Put some water in there. Do a little mixy mixy. Okay, so that's all nicely mixed now. And you want to grab your cheesecloth or muslin square, or whatever you like. And you just want to pop that inside and make sure it's got nicely coated. And then you just want to take the excess off and just squeeze it off. This is very messy. <laughs> And now I've got to pause the camera with messy fingers. <laughs> okay, so you want to unravel your cheesecloth. And you want to just plop it on, on top. And you want to just shape it a bit. I hope you can see this, yeah. 
so that you get that iconic ghosty shape. So that I'm just going to tweak it slightly. The more folds and ruffles the better really. Don't worry if it sticks to the glass either because um, once it's dried you can just peel that off. So there we go. That's, I think he looks very ghost-like. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna titivate it anymore <laughs> than I need to. Um, so yeah, so basically you just wait for that to dry now. Um, I would give it a good 24 hours um, before you can start removing um, this from the mould. So, but luckily, in good old-fashioned Blue Peter style, here's one I made earlier. Ta-da! <laughs> so this little ghosty um, had been drying for about two days, I think. Um, but you can take it off the mould after 24 hours. It should be dry by then. Um, as you can see, it's really stiffened up. Um, you still have to be quite gentle with it. I, would, I mean, I wouldn't flatten it with something. <laughs> it looks very effective, I think. Quite um, spooky, even. Okay, so to finish off the little ghosty, I'm gonna put on some eyes and a little mouth um, using, so I'm just using some black felt that I've got, but you can use any black material or even black paper if you have it. So I'm gonna do that off camera now and use my glue gun to stick them on. So there we go, there's our finished little ghosty. <laughs> um, all you need to do now is to grab yourself a little tea light. Please don't use real tea lights uh, because you'll set your house on fire. Um, yeah, so we just pop that underneath and then he'll glow really nicely. Um, and also wait until it's dark. <laughs> okay, hope you all enjoyed watching me create those um, ghosts. It's quite nice having the tea lights inside um, but I also quite like the effect of just having the ghost on its own and then having um, candles near it. It actually makes it a little bit more spooky than having the tea, having a tea light inside. Battery operated tea light, I will add. <laughs> Please don't put a real candle underneath it or else you'll, you'll burn your house down, which I, I almost did um, the other night. Um, but that's another story because I put my candle too close to my box of tissues <laughs> and I've now got a burn mark on my carpet. <laughs> Oopsie, shouldn't laugh about these things. But yes, the ghosts look really effective. They're really easy to make, very cheap. Um, so please do make them if you can. After ever, if you do decide to make them, please take a picture of it, send it to me via my Instagram, which I will link down below as normal. And yeah, have a lot of fun. It does. It can get a little bit messy, <laughs> but it's a really good one for children to do, actually, because, um, you know, children love getting their hands dirty. So um, this is a really fun one for them to do. So, yeah, that's it for this week, guys. Um, I shall be back again next week um, for another, well, my last Halloween DIY. It's going to be a good one, just warning you. <laughs> um, and I'm also doing a Halloween special as well, so you don't want to miss it. Um, I'm prepping for those videos as we speak. So yes, hope you're all getting into the Halloween spirit and getting into your Halloween crafting. I'm also getting into my festive, festive? <laughs> Halloween reading. Um, I'm currently reading Practical Magic and then I... <laughs> I thought I'd be bold. <laughs> um, today at the library, I bought um, Frankenstein. So, <laughs> not sure if it's going to be too spooky for me, but I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a go because I love Halloween, love reading um, ghost stories. So yeah, hopefully it's not too hardcore for me. But anyway, hope you're all getting into Halloween spirit of things, um, and you're getting prepped for the big day. Hope you all enjoyed watching and I shall see you again next week for my final Halloween craft. Okay, thank you. Bye.